let's look at direction cosines uh, so let's uh, define a vector from the origin right so or in other words a position vector for that we require three values so let's say a b c and now let's define a vector by specifying a point so if you just provide one point it is a position vector because the initial point is taken as the origin so a comma b comma c now let's increase the length of this yes now what do we want we want the unit vectors so let us say vector 1 comma 0 comma 0 now this has to be within a bracket because we have to specify a point so you see here you have a unit vector in the x direction okay vector 0 comma 1 comma 0 vector 0 comma 0 comma 1 so we have unit vectors in all the three directions yes and this is our given vector okay now let's fig uh, figure out the angle between the given vector that is u and the x-axis now x-axis is defined here as v right and it's not very clearly visible we can drag it but this itself is too small so let's increase its size so let's go to style and increase the size so now you see if you rotate it you will you can clearly make out what angle this is okay similarly angle between u and w yes again same problem right very difficult to make out so again go to settings style and 30. so now if you again rotate it you can see clearly the two angles okay and which means finally angle between u and d Again, here also we need to increase the size. Right? So we have got X, Y, and Z angles. Okay. Let's move it a little bit. Okay. Now that we have this, let's figure out the cos cosine of these angles so cos of alpha now how do i type alpha you have a keyboard here and you have alpha here so cos alpha is 0.58 similarly cos beta and similarly cos gamma right and remember L is equal to, remember L, M, N, N, direction cosines. So, L is cos alpha, that is E. M is F and N is G. So, E, F, G is cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. Okay. Now, we know that L square sum of the squares of the direction cosines is equal to 1. So, L square plus M square plus N square is supposed to be 1 and it, it is evaluating it as 1. Now, you know, um, let me just change these values of ABC so that this vector, given vector changes its position and you will notice that irrespective of what the value is l square m square plus n square will always be 1 the sum of the squares of the 
cosmologies will always be one. When A, B, C are zero, everything else becomes uh, the lens becomes zero on all the three axes, and cosine becomes undefined because the hypotenuse becomes zero. Or in other words, it's not a triangle anymore. So L square plus M square plus N square also becomes undefined. But the moment I put some value, you see, it will be one. Now let's increase this. And let's increase this. Now let's take it to the negative side. It's gone below. Yes. Okay. Similarly, if I take it negative side, it has gone to this side now, below. Okay. So that is direction cosines. Goodbye for now.